Hello, Mr. Zonker here, and this video is an intro to scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way to write very large and very small numbers using powers of 10. And we call it scientific notation because in science, we often like to use very large numbers like the distance between planets and very small numbers like the mass of one molecule of oxygen. Standard notation is just the normal way we typically write numbers without powers of 10. To write numbers in scientific notation, first we want to make it so the decimal point only has one digit in front of it. We want to find out how many times we need to multiply or divide by 10. In other words, how many spaces does the decimal point move? For large numbers, we know we're going to have positive powers of 10 because we're multiplying times 10 times 10 times 10. And small numbers are going to have negative powers of 10. That would be like dividing by 10, dividing by 10, dividing by 10. Let's do a few examples of writing in scientific notation. Here, here we've got the number 324 million. My decimal point, when it's not seen, is right on the end there. So we want to move that so there's only one digit in front of it. And let's count those spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would give us 3.24 times 10 and we move that decimal eight spaces, so that would be times 10 to the eighth power. And basically, if we take this 3.24 and multiply 10 eight times, we would get back to 324 million. Next example, we've got 0 0.00012. This is a small number, uh, so we wanna take our decimal point here and say one, two, three, four spaces to get one digit in front, and that would give us a 1.2 times 10. And since this is a small number, we're going to have an exponent that is a negative. Remember, negative exponents flip like division. So that would be negative uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the negative fourth power. So 1.2 times 10 to the negative 4. If we did 1.2 divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10, we'd get back to where we started. This last example looks like it might be in scientific notation, but we do not have the decimal where we want it. We need that decimal to go right here so there's only one digit in front. And, and that actually means this is gonna move one, two more spaces. Uh, so what we're gonna have here is 4.32 times 10. And when we move this decimal over, we're actually making this smaller. It's like we divided by 10, divided by 10. So in order to keep that balance, we need to add those spaces uh, to times 10 to the sixth. So this is gonna be times 10 to the eighth power. So if we already have are multiplying by a power of 10, if we make the number smaller, we need to balance it by adding, uh, adding to that exponent. If we were going the other way, then we would subtract uh, the exponent. If you're ever unsure, you can always test it out uh, by making sure you'd get the same thing if you multiplied everything out. Let's do a couple examples where we go in the other direction. Instead of writing in scientific notation, now we have scientific notation and we're going to write it in standard form. Uh, looking at this problem here, 3.6 times 10 to the fourth, I've got that 3.6 and I'm multiplying by that 10 four times. And that shortcut we said is gonna be, well, 3.6 times 10 would be 36, times 10 again would be 360, times 10 again would be 3,600, times 10 again would be 36,000. We kinda of see that that decimal point is just moving four times, one, two, three, four. So my answer in this case would be 36,000. Nice. All right, here we've got 1.22 times 10 to the negative three. This time, I notice I've got a negative exponent, so we'll start with that 1.22. But instead of multiplying by 10, since it's a negative exponent, we're gonna be dividing and getting it smaller. In this case, we will move that decimal place over once, twice, I need to add a zero, three times, I need to add a zero, and that is going to be my answer. So I get a final answer of 0 0.00122. Uh, 
Uh, your key here is when it's a positive exponent, you're getting bigger. You're multiplying by 10. Negative exponent, getting smaller, dividing by 10. All right, everyone. Hope this video was helpful.